What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and some very interesting decisions being made by the overlords at YouTube. Uh, not only that, obviously, uh, also facing a new $1 billion lawsuit, which we're going to discuss combined in, these, in this video. I first want to talk about uh, their new re-engaged war on um, people that don't want to use YouTube premium people that want to uh, make different, uh, you know, they want to block certain things. You know, I, I have a feeling that they probably don't even like people saying the word. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're screwing with people again. Um, and by the way, I do want to take a chance uh, opportunity to remind people, um, you know, I don't care what you do. Uh, I hope that you'll consider supporting me over on thequartering.locals.com. Um, you can follow, obviously, for free, but I post videos there, and we have conversations there, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, you can support the show for five bucks a month. You don't have to, but uh, it definitely helps a lot with uh, more people using new technology to uh, stop certain things from appearing on their videos. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment. Please do consider following or um, becoming a supporter there today. YouTube is again slowing down load times for users who uh, use particular softwares that uh, leave their video viewing experience free of interruptions, we'll say. I have a theory that that YouTube, that YouTube uh, de-boosts videos that put this in the title or mention it in the videos. I also think they have, I also have a theory that they do this when you talk about competitors. That's why I call uh, the R site the big mean green. Uh, maybe I'm just paranoid. It's entirely possible. YouTube is, again, slowing down video load times for people running the software and having it enabled, similar to a test it conducted back in November. Some users have now reported difficulty loading previews and inability to open full screen or theater mode when using this software. Again, the software is to keep certain things from interrupting your viewership. You get what I'm talking about, right? YouTube's previous effort to combat these softwares have included experiments such as on-screen banners and a three-strike policy. In a bid to push revenues, YouTube has long tried to convince its users to switch to a $14 a month premium tour. Failing to do so would result in viewers having to sit through interruptions in their videos, with YouTube at one point even testing up to 11 unskippable interruptions through subsequent back and the subsequent bash lash led the company to end this experiment. Well, we knew it was going to come back. Look, and I'm going to be real with you. Okay. Nobody. And I, I a hundred percent understand it. Nobody wants to hear YouTubers complain about money. It's hard out there for everyone. I'm just saying this as a point of reference. It's true. Like given similar views this year, I have earned 50% less. That is a huge cut. I haven't fired anybody or laid anybody off, but I'll tell you what, the belt has been maximally tightened. Um, selling a bunch of collectibles and selling some stuff, trying to lighten the load around here. It's not dire straits, obviously, but it's it's true. P you know, people are, they're not buying. There must not be as many people buying spots. Obviously, more people are using uh, software to remove them. So just say, you know, if you enjoy my content, Consider, I'll leave it in the pinned comment. You go to the quartering.locals.com, sign up as a uh, supporter. It's five bucks a month. Um, you get, you know, private chat while I'm streaming and, you know, members only videos and things like that. So I hope that you'll do that. Anyway, it's just true. I don't have a website where I can shut off my live streams and then force everyone to pay $10 a month. A anyway, so, sorry, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, as for people who continue to use workarounds, like these softwares, the streaming platform has now had some other plans idling, including, sorry, but not limited to slowing down load times. YouTube is now seemingly bringing back this particular campaign as noted by Reddit user Nightmean. Several other users on the thread concur with some reportedly making uh, mistaking the slowdown for reduced internet speeds. The load times have reportedly improved when the disable the software and you can see they show in this video uh when they turn it on turn it off versus and then it actually slows down the buffering which is wild 
The folks at 9to5 Google tried this out on their own and faced slow buffering and found that even uh, that even going into full screen or theater mode wasn't possible, requiring an entire page refresh. Moreover, the site found that some of the previews refused to load properly in this state. However, I didn't have the same misfortune, suggesting that the new wave of restrictions might be limited to some regions at the moment. Meanwhile, a similar issue appears to be impacting at least one YouTube premium subscriber as well, which may or may not be related. Now, I remember back in November when everybody pointed this out, a lot of people talked about, or I mean, I think YouTube actually came out and one of the biggest software companies out there that to provide these type of softwares uh, basically said like, hey, it's on their end. They have to update some stuff, which probably was true, okay? Um, but you also look at, um, you know, uh, a t- it's kind of a tit for tat kind of thing. Like YouTube probably changed something and then these various softwares that removed those things from your experience needed to update something. Either way, it was their effort to c- kind of combat that. Of course, Their fight against these softwares was supercharged in 2023 with the platform trying out multiple new methods to discourage their use. The first experiment appeared right around the time of the Google I.O. in May, which is, by the way, running right now um, in this May, uh, wherein users are shown banner prompting them to disable the software or try out premium. In my opinion, premium is just too expensive. 15 bucks a month is too much. They want just to not for oh they give you access to music who cares nobody uses youtube music all right 15 bucks a month is way too much in my opinion unless you get access to exclusive content that's more than a netflix subscription that's more than i think just about any of the standard streaming subscriptions 15 bucks a month is nuts just to remove um these interruptions, by the way, you still have to hear, you know, particular reads that YouTubers do. So you actually don't get to remove them all. Um, you know, as somebody who earns his most of his living based on uh, these minor interruptions, I don't generally use those type of things. I, I don't I don't mind letting the, the videos play because, you know, I rely on it. But I, I don't behoove other people's. I don't give people grief if they use it. I mean, we saw with... Um, with one particular YouTuber's app, uh, which was uh, awesome, is awesome. Uh, Louis Rossman's app, you know, YouTube going to war with him over that, all over this type of, you know, behavior. You see, uh, this is from two weeks ago, three weeks ago, the crackdown is ramping up. You can see, it explained how the platform will only allow third-party apps to use this API when they follow the API's terms of service. When they find an app that violates these terms, we take, you know, specific, uh, uh, penalties. You see the end of an era. YouTube has announced a crackdown on third-party apps that, in fact, remove those interruptions on videos. You can see their enforcement on apps. Get rid of the API. What happens if you use the app during the last crackdown on these extensions? YouTube users notice buffering on the platform, off platform often making it unusable. Under the latest crackdown, viewers using third-party apps may experience buffering issues or see the area error. The following content is not available. We're trying to watch the video, Google said. I mean, they are willingly, openly, like just making the experience worse for people that are using it. Um, and I, I, I just feel like you're better off trying to make it more affordable for people. If it was $5 or $7, maybe people would be willing to do it. For example, one of the big benefits that they offer you for $15 a month or $14 a month is that you can play videos minimized on your screen. Well, guess what? This is something that the uh, Mean Green site, their biggest rival, does for free in their app. Um, And you can see now YouTube rivals suing evil Google for $1 billion in damages. According to an exclusive report from Axios, the publicly traded user-generated video platform has claimed that Google owes upward of $1 billion in damages for lost ad revenue. The lawsuit filed in Northern District of California is now the second time they have sued Google for the first time back in 2021 uh, for alleged self-preferencing. This time around, they're claiming that Google prevented their video sharing platform from succeeding as an ad tech competitor by engaging in conduct unlawful under settled antitrust precedent, resulting in a billion in billions in lost revenue. The complaint goes on to state that Google unlawfully forecloses competition. Well, this is not surprising. We know they do this. Like, we absolutely know they do this. I mean, um, 
the, the, it's a complete functional monopoly between Apple and Google. It's the only way for most people to get apps on their phones with somewhere north of 75% of people watching videos on their phones. By the way, if you're watching my content, I don't care where you're watching it. I'm, I'm glad that you are. I hope that you'll consider going to the quartering.locals.com, downloading the app, following me there, and tossing me five bucks a month, but you don't have to. Um, but I will say that you know G Google makes it extremely hard for people to compete against it. Um, this is true of all new tech because they're the gatekeepers. I mean, they make it impossible for, um, you know, remember those many Twitter alternatives that were around for a while and then quickly sh uh, skewed to the side. All this stuff is because they have a functional monopoly. And, you know, I 110% support this lawsuit from the Mean Green site. I hope they win. I hope they win their first lawsuit. I hope most more people fight back because... To me, it's not just about the anti-competitive stuff that they're doing. It's also about the fact that they are, uh, you know, in my opinion, um, tipping the scales in various, um, you know, political reasons. The way they uh, serve certain content that's pro or against certain political leaders. Their algorithm, in my opinion, is extremely biased towards Democrats. And, not, and doesn't give Republicans even a fair chance to, to reach people. You can look at channels, uh, myself, Tim, many others. Have you seen us growing lately at like at all? No, because we're all in these weird silos that YouTube won't admit that we're in, but we can never find new viewers because of the way that it's set up. So, you know, it, it's absolutely insane uh, that that this is allowed to continue. And I they have all my... Uh, uh, all my um, support in this lawsuit, and uh, I hope that more people will embrace new tech like the big mean green, uh, and uh, hope that I'll see you over on Locals, and we'll talk to you again real soon.